Hello and welcome to Starbase Texas, or what we here at SpaceX like to call the Gateway to Mars. Today is going to mark the third attempt to get our 10th Starship flight test off the ground. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. going to be hot staging, which is happening in just over 90 seconds from now. Uh, to get ready, the booster will shut down all but three of its Raptor engines. The clamps holding the two stages together will release, and the Starship second stage ignites its engines. The ship then separates from the Super Heavy booster and heads to space. At the same time, the three engines still firing on Super Heavy will flip the booster around. Ten more engines will ignite for the boost back burn, putting the first stage on the path for splashdown in the Gulf. Miko. Ship ignition. Boost back mark start up. Stage separation. Stage separation confirmed. We've got six engines running on ship. Booster is doing its boost back burn, continuing now. There's a view into the business end from the ship. Boost back burn shut down. It's not going to be quite as an aggressive of a flight down. We relax that angle of attack a little bit, but we are then going to be looking for it to do its engine tests for the landing burn. And those are going to be a little unique this time. See the boost plume itself in the background as it was coming in. All right, about 20 seconds to landing burn. All right, here we go. like we got 12 of those 13. Down to three, including one in the middle ring. Down to two. Oh, nice oh, little oh. hover. And landing bird shut down. About seven minutes into today's flight, ship continuing its asset burn. This goes until just about nine minutes into our flight. We are gonna see those three RVAC, the Raptor vacuum engines, those will shut down first. We continue burning for a couple seconds longer on those inner three. All right, shut down the vacuum engines. Ship engine cutoff. Successful ship engine cutoff. Our next milestone is going to be the deployment of those Starlink simulators. We've got some payload inside of Starship. It's a few seconds until we expect those payload doors to open. go. Pew pew. <laughs> Been waiting way too long to do that. There we go. We got one remaining. So seven of the eight have been deployed. One more to go. There. Now, now it's empty. Looking a little lonely, but. Successfully deployed all the, all the simulator satellites. Really, really cool to see them all out there. Relight demo startup. And shut down. about 45 minutes into the 10th flight test of Starship. And as you can see, the light show has started. Re-entry has begun. We are starting to re-enter the Earth's atmosphere. We're moving about five times the speed of sound. And we're about to start barreling through the Earth's atmosphere and head for a splashdown in the Indian Ocean. We don't plan to recover the spacecraft today, but if we do make it all the way down to the water, who knows? Uh, but the goal of this part of the flight is to learn as much as we can about the ship's heat shield. Looks like we got a little bit of burnt through the very bottom part of it. Everything's still looking good, ship maintaining control. All right, 
flaps earning their paycheck today, getting through kind of that max stress. And Definitely things looking good so far. We're about two minutes out now from Starship becoming transonic. At this point, we've dropped below the speed of sound, so Starship itself is subsonic. And we're gonna look for the flip. So Starship's doing its belly flop right now. We're gonna do the flip, swing out, Let's punch through some clouds first. Here we go. Starship, mighty burn to start out. Seeing three engines. There's our flip. 